So my name is Pascal Moni and I'm here at the uh, Swiss Council and Director of Swiss Next Boston. Swiss Next Boston is the Science and Technology Council for the Boston area. A very unique initiative. So I think what I've been really passionate about and that's something that, that goes way back is really uh, two things. One, um, kind of continuous learning. I don't know if you describe it as pure curiosity. I'm not sure if it's curiosity more than it's kind of finding uh, new interesting things to challenge. Uh, I don't know if it qualifies in some sort of uh, attention uh, deficit, but there's definitely a part of me that's always very interested in, in learning more and to a certain extent in kind of confronting or at least challenging some parts that, uh, that I still don't know and uh, I like to kind of have new areas of, uh, of interest uh, be open. So that's why I think uh, part of the uh, story of this organization fits well with what I do, with what I do, is which I'm passionate about. The other part that I'm really passionate about is the uh, contact to, um, to people. I think one of the, uh, the best part of the job, and I hope also here for the organization what we can do, um, is definitely understanding people, uh, listening to what they do, uh, to a certain extent anticipating what they're interested in as well, and kind of then providing some, some support. So I've been very interested in kind of this making connection and kind of building up a network, uh, both on a personal basis if you want and on an organizational uh, basis. So I think if you take the two side, which is kind of a little bit the idea of exploring new grants and then of connecting people, it basically uh, explains very well what we do here, which is basically promoting science and technology by connecting people, if you want. I think what's happening is we are entering an age where um, knowledge is key and networks are very important, and by knowledge I don't necessarily mean uh, only the kind of knowledge you can derive from uh, all kinds of textbooks and others, but also the knowledge about uh, others, everything that can be to a certain extent transcribed also into interest, values, culture and some others. We're entering a, a phase, I think, where this is becoming very important for all kinds of work. At the same time, I think the notion of network is also key to what we do, um, because we want to try to understand how from, uh, I would say, all kinds of different scientific fields, we can make sure that people get to know each other, um, find their ideas, find new ways to basically work together, and then networks are just um, our kind of, again, daily activities, if you want. If we look a little bit at what the future would look like, I think with um, the increasing amount of data on everybody, it's just uh, mind-blowing to uh, see what you can find through Facebook, LinkedIn, and some others, uh, some of the kind of recent social networks. I think as this will continue to find, um, there's going to be a lot more opportunities for deeper conversations. And I think what has now sometimes um, been labeled or has been um, kind of describe it uh, as casual networking to a certain extent, this thing where um, you still rely a lot on, on chance and others. I think you can look at this in the future in a much more strategic way and to a certain extent um, find ways and find original ways to kind of search and, and, and develop, I would say, and facilitate uh, ways for people to find each other in a much more kind of refined way than others. So I think that's also where we are going in the future, we are uh, as an organization which is understanding how we can for the benefit again of our um, stakeholders that are universities, individuals, innovators, how can we basically uh, try to find here locally new people that they can work with together.